What's going on guys, John Elder here from Konami.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set the focus and the tab order for your entry widgets with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video we're going to look at focus and tab order, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Kodomi.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at focus and tab order. So I've got some entry boxes here and I've got them colored. And you'll notice right off bat that the cursor is blinking in this white entry box. And I did that by setting the focus to that right off the bat. So when the program starts, it blinks in this box. Now that probably isn't what you want. You probably would want the first one up here to blink and I'll show you how to do that as well. By default, none of them will blink, and that's called setting the focus. So we'll look at that. Now, I also want to look at tab order. So if we start up here and type something and then hit the tab key in our keyboard, you see now it jump, jumps down to the blue one, then back up to the white one, then back up to the red one, blue one, white one. That's not the tab order you would expect. I changed the tab order. And I'll show you how to do that in a couple of different ways. So that's what we're gonna look at in this video. So it is Friday morning here in Vegas. Very excited about the weekend. Hope you guys have some good plans planned for your weekend. I've got basic Kinter starter code that we always use. I've got a file called focus.py. We're using the Sublime Text Editor and then Git Bash Terminal as always. So let's just create uh, some entry boxes. So I'm gonna call this one red and this one white and this one blue, colors of the American flag, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> and this is gonna be an entry widget and we wanna put it in root and let's give this a background color of red. And also I want to give this a font of Helvetica and like size 20 to make it bigger, just so it's easier for you guys to see. So, all right, let's copy this whole thing and paste it in a couple of times here. And we want to change this one background to white and we want to change this background to blue. Okay, so now we can pack them. So let's go red dot pack. And let's give this a pad Y of like 20. And I'm just gonna copy and paste. So red dot pack, white dot pack, and blue dot pack. So let's go ahead and save this and run it just to make sure that worked okay. So, so Python focus dot pi. And when we do, we see red, white, and blue. And hold on, let me run this again. And you'll notice that none of them have a blinking cursor. Right? If you click here, now this one does. We click here, this one does. And if we click here, this one does. But by default, they don't have that. So how do we set that focus? Well, it's really easy. All we do is, uh, let's say, pick focus. Let's say we want the white one to have the focus. Or let's just say red. Let's make the top one have the focus. We just call red dot focus. And it's a little function, and that's all there is to it. So if we run this guy, Now you see right off the bat, before we even do anything, the cursor is blinking in the red uh, entry box. Very cool, very easy. Uh, and you could change this to any one of these just by naming them. So this would be white.focus or blue.focus to make that the default focus. Now I'm hitting my tab key. Let's start at the top. I'm in the red one. I hit the tab key on my keyboard. Now I'm in the white one. I hit the tab key on my keyboard. Now I'm in the blue one. That's the basic tab order. And the reason it's like that by default if we head back over to our code and take a look, it's because this is how we defined it, red, white, and blue right here. Now we packed them down here, but we defined them up here. So one way you can change the tab order, and this is the easiest way, I'll show you two ways to do it, but just define them differently here. So for instance, if we move this white one up here and then deleted it here, now it's white, red, blue. So the tab order will be white, red, blue. Right? And we can come down here and change our focus to white if we want, just to make it easier to start. Uh, so white, just remember white, red, blue. So let's run this guy again. And we're focused on white. So if I hit, if I type something white, now if I hit tab again, boom, it goes right up to red. If I hit tab again, boom, it goes down to blue. So it's white, red, blue. So we've changed the tab order just by changing how we define them in our app, right? So we put this one here. So now it's first, red will be second, blue will be third, 
right? So that's one way to do it. And that's probably the easy way, right? But sometimes you just can't do it like that. Sometimes you need to change the tab order. How do we change the tab order programmatically? Well, it's a little bit tricky. We need to actually create a new function to do that. So let's uh, change tab order. So I'm going to create a function called tab order. And you could call this anything you want. It's just tab order. So that's what I'm calling it. You could call it Bob if we wanted to. Now let's create a list of the order we want. So let's go uh, widgets. And this is a Python list. And inside of here, we just have to put these in the order we want. So right now, red, white, and blue, maybe we want this to go blue, white, red. So we would just come down here and type in blue, white, red. Why blue, white, and red? Because that's what these are called. If we called this first, second, and third, these would be first, second, third, or whichever order you want to put them in. So right away, the fault is red, white, and blue. We're going to set the tab order to blue, white, red. So now we need to loop through each of these and raise them or lift them in the tab order, right, into this order. So we do that by creating a for loop. So let's go for W in widgets. And you could name this anything. It's, this could be X if you want. It really doesn't matter. Uh, but W, short for widgets. And this is a loop. So we put a colon here. And we just go W dot lift. And this is the lift function. It will lift the order of the tabs into this order, right? So we're looping through each one, lifting them one at a time. First is blue, next is white, then is red, right? So we now need to either create a button that runs this function or just run the function ourselves when the program starts. So let's just create a button real quick because it's Friday and buttons are fun. <laughs> My button, and this is a button, and we want to put it in root and want the text to equal change tab order. And we want the command to equal tab order. Right? Now let's my underscore button dot pack this guy, give this a pad y of 20 to push it down the screen a little bit. Okay, so now let's run this. Now, just remember the original order is red, white and blue. After we click this button, it should be blue, white, red. So remember blue, white, red. So let's save this and run it. And we set the focus to the white, but let's put it up here. So it's red, white, blue, red, white, blue. Now we can change the tab order, boom. And we'll tab now it's white, red, blue, white, red, blue. So we've changed the tab order. And that's how you do that. Now, maybe you don't want to use a button for that. We don't have to use a button. We could just come down here and call tab order. Whenever our program runs, then that will fire this function and it'll change the tab order to blue, white, and red. Maybe we want to change the um, focus also to blue dot focus, right? Instead of white. So let's save this and run it. Now we don't have to hit the button now. This will just run. And we can see that because blue is the focus blue, white, and red. So pretty simple. That's two different ways you can change the tab order. Again, you can just really change how you define them the order, right? That won't change how they're packed on the screen, right? Unless you change them down here. But if you want to change the tab order, you could just for instance, put white first like we did earlier. That's an easy way to do it. Or if you want to do it programmatically, you can use this lift function. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49, taxes, all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.